In the high-stakes game of technological one-upmanship, Google and Microsoft find themselves locked in a modern-day duel, this time over the prowess of large language models. These AI-powered maestros of the digital world are capable of feats ranging from the mundane, such as language translation, to the magical art of generating text that could pass for humans. At the heart of this clash of tech titans are Google's Bard and Microsoft's ChatGPT, names that sound more like characters from a futuristic novel than software. This rivalry isn't just a matter of corporate pride, the implications are vast. Touching on everything from market dominance to ethical quandaries, LLMs, after all, aren't just another gadget in the tech toolkit. They are, in essence, reshaping how we interact with machines, understand languages, and perhaps even how we perceive intelligence. The significance of this development hasn't been lost on the academic world, which has seen a sharp uptick in research papers focusing on LLMs. In this video, we dive into the dynamic world of large language models where the battle of wits and algorithms is reshaping the future of artificial intelligence. Bard vs. ChatGPT, a comparative analysis. In the ever-evolving landscape of artificial intelligence, Bard and ChatGPT stand out as the latest heavyweights. These large language models are not just any run-of-the-mill AI tools. They are like the Swiss Army knives of the digital world, adept in tasks ranging from natural language processing to creative writing and even code generation. It's as if they've been fed every book, article, and late-night TV script to become jacks of all trades in the realm of words. The race to outdo each other has pushed both Google's Bard and Microsoft's ChatGPT to new heights. Bard, initially leaning on the Lambda family for its linguistic prowess, has now shifted to the more advanced Palm 2. It's a bit like swapping a reliable sedan for a sports car in the AI race to keep up with ChatGPT. This move is a chess piece in the broader generative AI industry game, where each advancement is a checkmate move. ChatGPT, on the other hand, is the digital equivalent of a worldly scholar trained on the vast expanse of internet texts. It's particularly savvy at tasks like summarizing paragraphs and crafting responses that could pass off as human, be it in dialogues, scripts, or poems. Imagine an AI that could pen a sonnet or crack a joke at a virtual party. In comparing these two digital titans, Bard boasts a broader training regimen, including everything from books to articles, giving it a seemingly encyclopedic knowledge base that's as current as yesterday's news. Its ability to pull in Google search results for queries adds another feather to its cap. But Bard isn't without its Achilles heel. It's still a work in progress and can fumble, particularly in the linguistic Olympics of translation. ChatGPT, meanwhile, shines at delivering bite-sized, palatable information. Its knack for generating text across diverse formats is commendable. However, it sometimes trips over the fine line between fiction and fact and can find itself perplexed by more complex queries. Recent updates, Google's latest foray into the realm of AI, with its chatbot Bard, is more than just a technological leap. It's akin to having a digital genie at your fingertips, ready to cater to a variety of whims and needs. Bard, an AI-powered conversationalist, has been deftly woven into the fabric of Google's suite of products, including Search and Gmail, elevating mundane tasks to a new level of efficiency and customization. Imagine asking an AI to kickstart your vacation planning or cobble together a compelling product listing for an online marketplace. That's the kind of versatility Bard brings to the table. It's not just about responding to queries anymore. It's about understanding and engaging in a way that feels almost human. With recent updates, Bard now struts its stuff in a more natural, conversational style, making interactions smoother and more intuitive. The integration of Bard with Google's galaxy of apps and services isn't just a show of technological muscle. It's a strategic move to harness the power of AI for more accurate and helpful responses. The Google It feature in Bard, now with a boost in reliability, exemplifies this synergy. Furthermore, the introduction of Bard extensions for English speakers opens a new dimension of interaction, seamlessly connecting users with Google's diverse products, from Gmail and Docs to Maps, YouTube, and even flights and hotels. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a transformation by leveraging the capabilities of the Palm 2 AI model, Google has turbocharged Bard. Now, the chatbot is not just a conversational partner, but a collaborator in various projects, a polyglot switching across over 40 languages, and even a coding mentor with heightened precision. 
BARD has rapidly evolved into an indispensable tool for users. Its knack for tailoring responses to specific needs has seen it employed in diverse tasks, from travel planning to demystifying complex scientific concepts for a younger audience. But Google isn't stopping there. Enter Assistant with BARD, a fusion of BARD's generative abilities with the personalized assistance of Google Assistant. This new iteration is not just about interaction through text, voice, or images. It's about taking action on behalf of the user. Integrated with familiar Google services like Gmail and Docs, Assistant with BARD is shaping up to be not just a tool but a personal ally, streamlining tasks and helping users keep a grip on the essentials of their digital lives. ChatGPT, OpenAI's brainchild, has swiftly become the go-to digital muse for creators across various fields. This AI-powered tool is more than just a writing assistant. It's like having an invisible collaborator with an endless reservoir of ideas. Users can simply feed ChatGPT a topic or theme, and voila, it churns out drafts of articles, blog posts, and even the snappiest of social media content in a fraction of the usual time. This isn't just about efficiency, it's about revolutionizing the creative process. The tool's utility extends beyond mere content generation. It acts as a crucible for new perspectives, suggesting alternative viewpoints that might not have crossed the human mind. Imagine a tool that not only writes but also thinks outside the box, offering a kaleidoscope of ideas and insights. But ChatGPT's talents don't end there. It's also adept at crafting catchy headlines, weaving content outlines, and even constructing reader personas. Whether it's spinning engaging social media captions, penning compelling email newsletters, concocting irresistible product descriptions, or laying out blog frameworks, ChatGPT has proven to be a Swiss Army knife in the content creation realm. Despite its prowess, the tool isn't quite a magic wand. Users need to provide clear, well-thought-out prompts and context to extract the best results from ChatGPT. It's a bit like guiding a very intelligent, albeit literal-minded, apprentice. In the ever-evolving landscape of writing, marketing, and business, ChatGPT has carved out a niche as an invaluable ally. It's not just about cranking out content, it's about enhancing creativity and productivity, making it a treasure trove for writers and marketers alike. ChatGPT, in essence, is reshaping the art of content creation, one prompt at a time. Challenges. As large language models continue to dazzle with their linguistic prowess, they also bring to the forefront a slew of ethical conundrums reminiscent of a sci-fi plot. These AI marvels, capable of everything from penning prose to coding, are not without their Achilles heel. Chief among these is the specter of bias and misinformation. Like a mirror reflecting society's flaws, these LLMs can inadvertently perpetuate existing societal biases if the data they're trained on is skewed. OpenAI's ChatGPT, for instance, despite its technological sophistication, has stumbled into the quagmire of racial bias, highlighting a pressing need for ethical oversight. This ethical labyrinth extends beyond just content. The sheer computational heft required to train and run these digital goliaths is a matter of environmental concern. In an age where carbon footprints are scrutinized, the energy-guzzling nature of LLMs isn't just a technical challenge, it's a sustainability issue. Businesses keen on embracing LLMs might find themselves grappling with the added financial burden of offsetting carbon emissions or investing in greener, more efficient hardware. Moreover, the democratization of this technology is another puzzle. The high cost of computation erects barriers, especially for smaller ventures or projects with shoestring budgets, potentially limiting the widespread adoption of this breakthrough technology. It's an AI arms race where only the well-heeled might afford to compete. Yet, the journey of LLMs is far from complete. These models, while remarkable in their current capabilities, have limitations and risks that need to be carefully navigated. The privacy implications of using sensitive data and the environmental toll of massive data training are just the tips of the iceberg. It's a constant balancing act between innovation and responsibility. Addressing these challenges requires more than just technological advancements. It calls for a collaborative effort where researchers and organizations join forces to tackle the ethical quagmires of LLMs. This includes addressing concerns about data privacy, fairness, and transparency. 
ensuring that the future of AI is not just brilliant, but also conscientious and equitable. The Future of LLMs – Google versus Microsoft In the grand chessboard of technology, large language models – LLMs – are poised to redefine the rules of the game across various industries. Accenture's research indicates a potential impact on 40% of working hours, spanning sectors from banking to retail. In the world of finance and insurance, generative AI looms large, promising a future where automation is king. Meanwhile, the retail, high-tech, and utilities sectors are eyeing a significant shift in responsibilities towards AI systems like ChatGPT, a change that could rewrite the job descriptions of many. The legal domain isn't immune to this AI wave either. With tools like ChatGPT, the tedious task of sifting through legal precedents and statutes might soon be as simple as typing a query, a boon for legal eagles buried in paperwork. In this burgeoning LLM market, Google and Microsoft are jostling for the top spot. Google's GPT-3, a behemoth with 175 billion parameters, is a testament to its AI ambition, while Microsoft's Turing, though smaller with 17 billion parameters, is no less significant. Google's OpenAI API is a playground for developers, and Microsoft's integration of Turing into its power platform is a strategic chess move. As for the future heavyweights in the LLM ring, the jury is still out. Bard, birthed by Ilithur AI, is the new kid on the block, while OpenAI's ChatGPT, a product of one of the world's leading AI research organizations, is a seasoned player. The battle for LLM supremacy will hinge on factors like performance, user-friendliness, and accessibility to the developer and business community. It's a toss-up whether Bard or ChatGPT will reign supreme, or if an unforeseen contender will emerge to steal the spotlight in the LLM landscape. What do you think, guys? Will Bard and ChatGPT be the titans of the AI era, or will a dark horse emerge to rewrite the rules of the LLM game? Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. Thanks for watching.